Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mdeo J and today's video is going to be all about Revolution Beauty. So as you know, COVID has not allowed a lot of companies to deliver PR or products or even just your normal shopping is really, really delayed. So as you guys know, I am on the PR list for Revolution Beauty for a year and they normally send out packages of all the products that they've been releasing but we've not been able to get anything so what revolution have done is they've given us the opportunity to go onto their website and pick out a certain number of products up until a certain amount and you guys know i like to shop so obviously i took the opportunity to add way more products that i have been interested in so i did add bit more into the basket and paid for it myself so we do have quite a spread unboxing and makeup tutorials reviews normally just make the video really long i'm thinking about splitting it into an unboxing as part one and then part two we'll be testing out some of these products um but as you guys know revolution have been releasing like they've been on it like normal <laughs> so they've been releasing quite a lot of stuff so i do have quite a bit to show you guys so i hope you like that idea i hope it's not um too annoying for you but i will link the second video in the description box below anyway let's just jump right into it so see in a bit so let's start off with skincare so we know revolution came out with this pink gorgeous collection of really luxury looking um skincare and we were all like i know you were thinking it i was thinking it we were all thinking it it looks like kylie skin and i am so here for it i've not had the chance to try kylie skin products but if i can try if i can try a dupe i i'm happy to try a dupe always so revolution skincare came out with these gorgeous oh god the packaging Gorgeous pink packaging, uh, face washes, moisturizers, and all that good stuff. And I did pick up quite a few of them. Not everything, but I did pick up quite a bit because you guys know I love, I love my skincare. So the first item is the cleansing jelly. And this has blueberry and goju berry extract. It is a cleanser which helps to remove dirt, residue, and any trace amounts of makeup from the skin after you've gone in with your cleansing uh, makeup remover and all that good stuff it's got as i said it's got blueberry extract acai berry extract goji berry extract and elderberry extract which help condition the skin love the packaging as i said and um, oh it smells it smells really nice look at the bubbles it smells really really nice so definitely quite excited to try that the cleansers i also got the hydration boost cleanser and this has shea butter you guys know shea butter is really really good for your skin um and as you know revolution beauty is a vegan and cruelty free brand this one also says that it removes dirt without leaving the skin feeling dry or tight it's got glycerin sodium pca and sodium hyaluronate that word always tongue ties me which helps to draw moisture into the skin to keep it hydrated um yeah so you can use this as a cleanser as well i haven't opened these guys so i don't even know what they smell like but yeah it's like a, this one's like a cream cleanser but it's got shea butter and sunflower seed oil which will help to nourish the skin so quite excited to try that one on the trend of the pink packaging i've also got the cleansing milk jelly and this one contains vitamin b love the pump applicator it's got it's locked as well which is really really good i'm um, just thinking of in-store displays you know how horrible people are they just go and pump stuff like it just it drives me insane so this one retails for eight pounds this one is six pounds and this is eight pounds as well and i think revolution beauty are doing three for two i'm hoping that i get this video out as soon as possible but if not revolution do a lot of deals and discounts so keep your eye out so this one is also a cleanser that helps to remove dirt residue and trace amounts of makeup okay, so it's got panthenol in it which helps the skin stay soft i'm not gonna lie that's the first time i'm hearing that word 
So I need to look it up, but anything to keep my skin feeling fresh and soft and hydrated, I'm here for it. But I do look up ingredients if I've never heard it before, just to be sure that I'm not going to get some sort of irritation or not. But Revolution Skincare has never given me any irritation, so I'm, I'm quite excited to try this. And this one is the one I'm most excited for because I love products like this. And this is the Melting Gel Cleanser. This is a luxurious, this is how they say it on the website. This luxurious cleanser melts from a gel to an oil to a milk to easily rinse away oils and residue, leaving the skin feeling soft, clean, and smooth. <laughs> it's formulated with grapeseed oil and sunflower oil to help break down oily residue on the skin, including makeup. Yes, I love products like this. I love to use it um, instead of using wipes. I just use it to break down the makeup so that when I wash my face, it's squeaky clean. So uh, I'm really, really excited to try this one. I think I'm going to do a full face trying out these products. So fingers crossed, I can't wait. And then when they released this one on their page, honestly, my jaw dropped because I'm here for it. And this is the makeup removal spray. Like literally it's a spray for removing your makeup. So according to the website, it says, um, getting on ready has never been easier. It is a light and easy to use spray which dissolves makeup with ease. Simply spritz all over your face or onto a cotton pad and wipe away. Perfect for evenings when you just want your makeup gone in a flash. It's formulated with um, glycerin to help the skin stay soft and moisturized. Oh my god. And you just follow up with your face wash and all that good stuff. So I am so excited to try this. And this contains vitamin E, which is brilliant. So first time I am seeing a spray as a makeup removal. So we will definitely be putting this one to the test. Definitely. The next product is no stranger to my channel. I love these um, face mists. I use them all the time. And this one is the Rose Hip Seed Oil Essence Spray. And this retails for £6. It is infused with rose hip and citrus oil extracts, helping to condition the skin and keep it hydrated. So, literally, when I've done my skincare in the morning or in the evening, I just spray all over. Smells really, really nice, and I just use it to further hydrate my skin because I find that my skin does feel really drying, really tight. So, just for extra hydration, I just use that morning and evening. I also picked up a pack of these microfiber face cloths. Um, I've been wanting to use more face cloths, you know, when I'm doing my skincare uh, routine instead of. Um, I use kitchen towel at the moment just because obviously you don't want any residue or you don't want to use your bathing towel to wipe your face or anything. I'm also finding that doing my skincare, like washing my face and all that, before I actually take a shower means that I take my time to actually really, really scrub my face. So that's something else that I'm trying. So basically you get three in a pack and it comes in this um, zip lock. Zip lock type of bag which is great and you get three four six pounds i don't know how big they are so let's just have a look this is how big it is which is big enough for my face so not mad at that at all i also got the skincare headband um this is this was just a nice to have really you don't need this it's just something to keep my hair in place when i'm doing my skincare again as i said i'm trying to do my skincare more before i shower when normally i do it and then i shower or i do it while i'm showering so i'm trying to do it before so this is basically just gonna push my hair back so that i can have my full face to um go in with my skincare and it does look super soft Let's see how stretchy it this is. This is what it looks like. And honestly, guys, it is very, very soft and super, super stretchy. And you've got revolution there. So I'm not mad at it. It's very soft. And I would easily be able to wash it with my face cloth. So it's kind of like why I'm happy it's white. It's 
nothing gets stained. It retails for four pounds. And as I said, if you've got something that you use, you don't really need it. It's just a really nice. Next thing I picked up is this Ultra Pro HD Cream Contour in Medium Dark. I've used this before on my channel. I hit pan. I used it to fill. And I just needed... Um, backup of it not backup i just needed a refill of it because obviously the one that i had i've completely used it to filth now you're not gonna get this in the easy view of makeup revolution i think it's in the, the sales section so definitely check it out because i got it at a really good deal so yeah i picked this one up in the sales section and i really really remember enjoying this product and finding it difficult to find another palette such as it in the market so literally you've got your contour shades or if you're this skin color your concealer shades and then you've got that orange color which is great for color correcting and um, you know just beautiful concealers if you're if you're able to use them but this color for me works beautifully well and then I love the color corrector shade if you guys notice I don't really color correct anymore because I used to use the LA Pro um, concealers but then I just stopped using it because I did enjoy this one more than the LA girl concealers so now that I have it I probably will color correct in some areas but that is what she looks like Honestly guys, this thing, if you can pick it up, it is value for money and again, it's at a sale price and it's just really, really good quality. Next up guys, I picked up some products from Revolution Pro and this is the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer. Now trying to match myself on the website was a mission um, but luckily I'd watched a lot of videos uh, such as Miss Sid's, I'd watched Tammy's video, I'd watched quite a lot of people so I tried to match myself as best as I could. So the colour that I picked up is Enrobe and it comes in two, five shades. You've got uh, Bahia which is a really light colour and then you've got Balau cacao and robe and then the darkest shade is mocha and this is the shade that I picked up in en robe so zoom in I definitely love the packaging of these like it's so pretty it looks so luxe um I think revolution could definitely come out with uh, more colors in between but I think this is a good range like that really dark shade called Macau really works for quite a lot of deeper skin tones and I'm hoping us um, lighter darker skin tone people will be able to use this so obviously I am so excited to try it um, now this little guy retails for nine pounds but the fact that it got this kind of luxury packaging um, and the you know bronze detailing around it and it has a mirror and it doesn't feel cheap i think yeah it's, for me it looks like value for money so i'm gonna swatch out and robe on my skin obviously i haven't used this on foundation and all that so this is just a swatch honestly that's not bad that's kind of like similar to what I would use. So I'm going to swatch it beside Benefit Cosmetics Toasted because I use that quite a lot um, to bronze up my skin. So let's see. Honestly, you guys, as I said, it's not far off at all. This is Benefit Cosmetics Toasted. So that's the Hula Bronzer and that's the Revolution Pro and Robe. So you can see they're very close. So... I want to say I did a good job, I did a good job matching myself, but until I tested it out on foundation, you never know. Who would I be if I didn't pick up an eyeshadow palette? So this is the Revolution Pro So Jaded Eyeshadow Palette, and this little guy retails for £10. And honestly, I needed to have one to just see it for myself, but guys, the packaging of this is just stunning absolutely stunning you've got this jewel green oh no i love green jewel green detailing on the top you've got revolution on the clasp it's got a mirror it's got a mirror and then it's got film protecting the eyeshadows and this is the eyeshadow so these are the ultimate eye look 
palette and this one is in so jaded that's the front of the packaging oh god guys honestly it's the most beautiful thing i have seen in a long time and this is the eyeshadow this is what the eyeshadows look like this is what the eyeshadows look like and honestly guys i had to dim down my lights just so that you can appreciate how beautiful these colors are very very beautiful and the packaging as well it's just it's just stunning stunning quality now these eyeshadow quads come in other colors as well you've got quartz crush which is your pearlescent pinks you've got your ocean treasure which is your bold blues you've got your wild onyx which is um exactly that you've got your hidden jewels which is purples and then you've got your diamonds and pearls which is your shimmery nudes and so this color is the shimmery green at the bottom it's a beautiful green color and these swatches are just one swipe swatches no primer no base my hand hasn't even been moisturized and then the second color is the dark green shade and um, that one came off a little bit patchy but again this is a this is a hand swatch so what do you expect that white or cream color however gorgeous swatch very smooth in consistency and then this one has more like a, a chunkier shimmer feel to it so it's the kind of color I would like to apply with my finger just to get the full impact of the glow but all four colors are absolutely stunning so before we get into the glow collection I've got one more palette that I picked up from Obsession, Makeup Obsession. Now Makeup Obsession is one of the brands that uh, we don't get in PR at all. So that's why I hardly ever have any Makeup Obsession stuff except for the ones that I purchase. And the ones that I purchase I always do a look on, in, on YouTube or Instagram just to show you guys um, the eyeshadow palette but just off the top of my head the quality of makeup obsession products is amazing they've got really really cute packaging it's more like ethereal uh, fantasy or flowers and very very pretty type of packaging and the colors that they come out with are just so so pretty so this is the uh, makeup obsession x ratty um, collaboration that they did. Raddy is a YouTuber, influencer, content creator, whatever you want to call her. She's a social media person. So they collaborated with her and this is the Dusk palette. I've been meaning to pick up this palette for the longest time and so this was my chance to do so. I've seen so many pictures of this palette. I'm sure you guys have as well. But the palette comes with a mirror just like every other palette that they have in this um, style and then you've got the eyeshadows the one thing I love about their palettes is that all those eyeshadows are magnetized so you can take them out and put them in another palette so all the palettes that I have that come like this I've departed them from their from their packaging and I put them in my color drain book of shadows just for ease of use so this is what this one looks like and as you guys can see, the color selection is so pretty, very up my alley. You've got your shimmer green, you've got that gorgeous green um, matte shade, you've got that blue, bluish green shade, you've got the pinkish maroon type of color, you've got the essential black and some neutrals. So very, very excited to use this of this and I believe this retails for £10 um, just like their eyeshadow palettes they usually retail for about £10 so yeah so I lied <laughs> I did pick up two lippies from Revolution Pro and this one is the Hydra Plump Lip Gloss and this is £6 comes in 12 shades the color that I picked up is Summon and I've tried a lot of the um, other Revolution Pro lip products, the lip glosses before. I've done swatches using them. So I definitely wanted to try the formula of this before buying any more, just in case if, you know, I don't like it or something. 
oh god i just love the smell it always smells like um oh, candy chocolate or something but this shade is summon and this color mm -mm 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 -mm. yum yummy such a beautiful yummy shade absolutely love it and i can't wait to lip swatch it because it's so beautiful it just looks like caramel oh it's just yum love it absolutely love it and then i also picked up the hydra matte liquid lipstick and this one also has 12 other shades and the color that i picked up is day luna and day luna is a rich chocolate brown shade and this oh my days girl yes this is what i am talking about that is what it swatches like and the color is just so rich so both of them together yes so next up i picked up quite a few items from the revolution glow collection i am missing um one or two items i don't know for some reason it just wasn't in the box so i've emailed revolution so i'm just going to show you guys what i do have on here so first up is the radiance um face and body shimmer oil in bronze and you guys would have seen promo pictures you would have seen swatches and all that good stuff on instagram and i just i was like wow beautiful love the packaging oh can we just take a moment to just look at how beautiful that is so this one comes in four different colors and it is 12 pounds and the shade that i have is bronze so you've got bronze you've got gold you've got pink and then you've got warm bronze you get 100 milliliter worth of product it is cruelty free and vegan and it's just basically that you've got loads of shimmer in it so let's let's just uh, watch let's watch it is a pump applicator and it's just gonna be a great shimmer body oil oh my god when you pump it oh, there is supposed to be a brush to use but that's one of the items that's missing so i'm just gonna use my hand for now oh it smells oh my god it smells fruity it smells really really good so oh didn't want to fully blend it just so that you guys can see the shimmer and then when you blend it in it just smells and blends really nicely into the skin and it smells really really nice it does have coconut and pineapple fragrance it says it's infused with coconut and pineapple fragrance it's a beautiful body oil which will leave you which you which will leave you with a stunning shimmer sheen it says buff it into collarbones shoulders arms and legs for an all over celestial afterglow if you want to add a little extra to your face apply a small amount to your fingertips and gently pat on your cheekbones and under your brow bone and bronze is suitable for medium to dark skin tones while warm bronze is for dark to deep skin tones like honestly guys it's not sticky or annoying it's just it's really nice and it dissolves really nicely into my skin it's just so pretty it's a beautiful shimmer oil i think the amount of shimmer they used in it in it is just enough and yeah it's not sticky or annoying and there is a brush that you can use to apply it i don't have the brush so there is a glow shimmer oil buffing brush which costs 10 pounds which you can use to apply the shimmer oil i did purchase that for some reason it's just it just didn't arrive but honestly guys you can apply it with your fingers as i have shown you next up i've got the glow molten body liquid illuminator and also the body brush glow so you can use this to apply this you've got bronze you've got gold and you've got rose gold no i take that back this is definitely bronze just looking at the pictures i mean honestly is it not on the packaging just looking at the promo pictures i definitely picked up bronze 
okay and this one retails for 15 pounds it is a glass bottle so it does have some weight to it you get 100 milliliters worth of product again it's cruelty free vegan free you can use this on the face and body it's got coconut and pineapple fragrance to it and here is the brush the brush retails for eight pounds it is very very soft i love the packaging i love how cute it is it's quite dense but still very very soft love the shape as well which would be great for your collarbone if you were to apply it there so let's just apply some on my hand see what that looks like so I did try my best to clean the shimmer oil as much as possible but just want you guys to see wow that is beautiful Okay, and literally you use this guy to buff it into the skin. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys both my hands close up just so that you see. Wow. Oh my God. So I dimmed my lights a little bit just so that you can see the difference. But look at that hand compared to this one. <laughs> like look at how glowy this hand is and look at this one wow this is beautiful honestly guys it is beautiful it's not sticky it's not annoying it actually dries down it doesn't feel sticky or anything so just like the shimmer oil this can be used with the brush on your collarbone, shoulders, arms, and legs. It says, don't layer, use sparingly to avoid stickiness. Maybe that's why it doesn't feel sticky, because literally, I haven't layered this. Um, it says, add a small amount to your favorite foundation if you're looking for an extra healthy glow. All right, and you can, um, you can add a little bit to your foundation or you can apply a small amount to your fingertips and gently pat on your cheekbones and under the brow for extra glow. Comes in three shades. Pink is more suitable for light to medium skin tones. Gold is suitable for medium to dark tones and bronze is for dark to deep. Guys, honestly, this is driving me crazy as to what color I picked up. So let me check my shipping information. So yeah, I did pick up bronze, um, but I wish they, they had the name on the packaging. It doesn't come with a box, it literally just came as is, So, but I've got bronze. So if you're interested, this is what it looks like on me. I'm quite curious as to what gold would look like on my skin tone, but this is very beautiful for just summer or in my foundation for extra glow. Next up, I picked up the Glow Spot. Blender bronzer and this one retails for eight pounds and the color that I picked up is dark and this is what it looks like inside honestly I haven't opened this so I don't even know so this is my color hmm so this one comes in six different shades you've got dark deep deep dark light medium and medium dark and retails for eight pounds now first of all fully appreciative to makeup revolution for even having a dark range like literally that deep dark shade is deep dark like it's really really good and it's a nice problem to have but when i was looking at the swatches i was like am i deep am i dark what am i am a medium which is a really good um, problem to have as opposed to, right, they've only got one dark shade. It is what it is. We're going to have to deal with it. But to have loads of options is really good. So I settled for dark. Um, I'd rather it be too dark and then I use a tiny amount than too light. And then I just have to keep building and building and building. Ain't nobody got time for that. So the color is dark. And it is a matte bronzer it's quite a big pan you can use this for your face and for your body so you've got quite a lot of product honestly for eight pounds so such a big pan i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this color so that is dark on me which again pretty spot on it would work really really nicely 
it's very pigmented so I would say a little bit goes a long way I haven't used it but just by swatching it it looks very very pigmented so very excited for I this also one picked up the glow beam dream illuminating primer this one retails for six pounds and it's supposed to be a base for your foundation it's got a light pink iridescence to it not sure about pink iridescence but this is what it swatches like it's white and then when you blend it in right it does have a pinky glow to it this one will need testing with foundation just to see if that pink is going to go through the foundation or not but what i can say is that um it's supposed to give you some sort of glow um underneath your foundation but it just feels really matte on my skin but we gonna see what happens so i did miss out one lip product so i got this velvet kiss lip crayon in icon and this is the color it's I don't know why I picked this color up or maybe it was just a bonus but I swear if I picked this color up it must have looked darker because it's so pink so pink um so yeah that's as much as I'm going to say about that <laughs> the last mother load is the glow palette so this is the eyeshadow palette from the collection the actual name of the eyeshadow palette is glow heat wave eyeshadow palette packaging and the actual palette itself have the same feel it's very smooth although it looks like it's got glitter particles on it it is very very smooth actually i think i might dim my lights just for this portion yeah i definitely think that's better you guys can see it's gold it looks like it's got um glitter on it but it is very very smooth it says glow on the packaging this eyeshadow palette retails for 20 pounds and it does have a protective film that I've taken off. It's got a good size mirror and these are the colours. So you do have 28 matte and shimmer shades. You've got a mixture of like gold, bronze, neutrals, champagne colours, um, a few pops of colour. And yeah, such a beautiful array actually looks way more beautiful in person than um, in the promo pictures and of course it's got that all essential um, black shade for any like smokiness to it and that is the close-up of it it's a very very beautiful eyeshadow palette I'm not going to swatch all the colors in this palette but I am going to swatch a few so I've got this coral shade I'm going to swatch that blue shade I'm going to swatch this red shade I love the pan sizes they're nice and big I'm going to swatch this one and of course it's a glow palette so we are going to have to swatch a gold so just off the bat, the shades are very buttery, very easy to swatch. I did swatch two of the matte shades and those are the two pops of colour. You've got your coral, you've got your red. The blue is a shimmer colour. The gold is also a shimmer colour, which is very beautiful. And then you've got this bronze shade. They don't have any shade names, but this is just a selection. So definitely very excited to use it in a look it looks very very promising the formula is very very smooth very soft very buttery it presents itself as being a really blendable palette but only time will tell I do love the chunkiness of the packaging it's very weighty and it feels really really luxurious so as they normally do you've got the shades at the back with numbers the ones that have pressed pigment in it are usually the ones that are starred so you can check that out at the back of the packaging it's also at the back of the box but yeah that is the eyeshadow palette so that is all the products that I picked up from Revolution Beauty. So I am going to go ahead and test some of these products in my part two, which I will link in the description box below. So I hope you guys found this useful. Sound off below um, what you think about the products that I picked up, which ones are you most intrigued about, and yeah. And I will catch you guys in the second video.